gentlemen. This morning has been great. This morning has been great. I broke my push pole. Several hundred dollar mistake. Current does seem to be coming out pretty good because this uh my motor's on three and it's only going 0.4 of a mile. So the current is moving still pretty dang good. Which I like and I don't like it's a you can view it either way really easily. One of the ways is well it's gonna be rough waiting for this to come back up. The other way is, well, that the trout might be biting because it is a lower tide, outgoing tide, really. But who knows? We shall see. This is kind of still early stuff, but I wanted to fish it all just to see because I'm stuck here anyway. So I figured might as well fish it, right? You get stuck somewhere. Luckily, I got a good stretch of stuff to fish. It's just going to be about if the trout want to eat or not. If they don't end up eating, this could be a really, really boring spot to get stuck. Cause I'm choosing a bigger profile right now to try to cover some water and see if I can't get bit. I guess around this bend, starting to see some bait. A decent amount of bait in here. I'm actually, kind of surprised I didn't see it at the mouth. There we go, there's one. Finally. He took it when I was doing like nothing. That was pause. He might actually be that perfect size. Yeah. That's fish number two right there. Number two on the ACH lure right there. Beautiful looking trout. Probably 15, 16 inches. Right, similar to the other one right there. How did you eat this thing? I'm really curious if they wouldn't eat top water. Right here.
wanted it for sure. I don't usually see fish eat it like that. That's a good sign. They would. I wish they would. But they seem to hit it pretty aggressively whenever, whenever I do get bit. It is a distinct thump. And a couple of the fish have really inhaled it. That one was actually barely, but um, that can also be just from possibly twitching as he was about to attack the bait and just catching the rear of it. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Sweet skit, man. I've never heard of Explore before. Yeah, they're down in uh, South Carolina. Cool. You, you live on here or did you get through the mouth? Yeah, I got through the mouth. Did that get through the mouth on low tide? Barely. Hey. I had a pole and I actually broke my pole because of it. Oh wow! Oh yeah, I see now. I hate to hear that. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it was supposed to be deeper than you know. It was supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, it, it was supposed to be borderline high. super fun it is that I, I totally did that whole thing and I think it wasn't even recording which is really awesome so I figured I'd take this time it has started to slow down as that sun has creeped up and as that tide I think has slacked off so right now I figured it would be a great time to go through some of the gear that I'm using right now the primary rod that's working today and catching most of the fish is this TFO inshore light edition it is their six foot nine inch um, I love to have rods right around that seven foot range. This also is going to be for lures that are a quarter ounce to the three eighths ounce range. Great little rod. The one thing I will say about it that's kind of my not greatest thing about it, um, especially for the price point, is these guides seem to come out of the threading for some reason quite easily. I don't know if that has been fixed on some of their newer models or not, but for this particular model, it seems like that is the case of just having that problem with the guides coming out of the threading. But overall, good rod, very sensitive. I have that paired with a Shimano Nasi or Nasi, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is the 3000 size, so it is a slightly larger size there. Um, great, great reel, um, 100 bucks, you can't beat that reel. Honestly, if, you, if I was going to do it all over again, and I had to just, I wanted multiple rods to do multiple different things with, I would probably go right to the Shimano Nasi for a hundred bucks to 120 bucks. You can get a very good reel that honestly, arguably can compare to a lot of the higher end reels. So great little reel right there. Might do a reel review if you guys want to on that thing, awesome. I had that paired up with um, 10 to 15 pound braid right here, Power Pro is what I use. 
want to have it light, want to have it so you can make really long casts. Especially if you're using a boat, a lot of times these fish can sense that boat. So you want to be able to make those super long bombing casts. Now this is a two-ish foot leader is what I got. What that leader is, is 15 pound. Um, a lot of times I go to 15, you can also do 20. Kind of just depends on the water clarity you got and how active your fish are feeding. Obviously with that 20, if you catch a redfish, you're a little bit safer. Uh, if you catch a good sized redfish or if you catch a big trout and you worry it might take you into some structure, you can obviously try that, you know, that 20 pound if needed. But the main attraction of today is gonna be this MHC, this MHC lure. This thing is awesome. It's been putting in a lot of work today. I really like it because it just seems like it's been doing a lot of like a bunker pattern. It's a little bit wider body unlike some of the mirror lures where they're a little narrower it's just got a little bit of a dip there to make it like a wider body and with that wider body there that little dip that makes it like a wider body i just feel like it's a great profile for um, the bunker that are back here a lot of bunkers some mullet are left but bunker and mullet are here and this has been chewed up great great results with this so far we're going back to more some of our more productive waters as I've gone up the creek and I seem to have stopped really getting bit. So hopefully towards some of the more productive waters also has a little bit more current flow as well. As it should be incoming and I really need it to start incoming because of the fact that, well, it was flat calm and it was so skinny on the way in. <laughs> I ran aground and broke my push pole, hoping it's a lot, a lot deeper going out. That'd be nice. We just, we just need enough to scoot through we're gonna hopefully get a couple more trout. Um, we've already got our four, which is our limit. Um, we're gonna be bringing them to a buddy today as well as possibly a, a client of mine. So that's what I wanted to do. Let's get after it. There's a decent fish. flounder on a twitch bait which this is the first for me as far as twitch baits go caught them on a spoon before but never Hope you guys enjoyed that video of us fishing in the back of a super skinny creek where we realistically did not make it in there very well without breaking things but the fishing was awesome so i hope you enjoyed it if you did please smash that thumbs up button it does help the channel quite a bit as well as don't forget to subscribe hit that bell notification to let you know when those new videos are coming each and every week that we can get them out we're trying to get them out as fast as possible, as much as possible, but do, you know, keep in mind that I do still work full time as an insurance agent. So, but without further ado, if you've not seen this video right here, please check it out as well as the video right below it. Don't forget to subscribe, like I was saying, 
And as always, fish now, worry later. Good luck later.